All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico bringing y'all a Washington Panthers, I mean Washington Redskins report. <laughs> Just coming with a quick video to give y'all an update. Nothing too, too long. Not too much detail because not a lot of details have come out yet. But the Redskins have officially hired ex-Panthers offensive line coach John Motzko and XY receivers coach Jim Hostler and the Panthers head athletic trainer who was with the Panthers for 18 years and clearly knows Ron Rivera well. He's been there longer than Ron Rivera has. It looks like the gang's all here, huh, Ron Rivera? Bringing everybody over that you can, huh? Oh, you know the vibes? I even know, uh-huh. Yeah. You know the vibes? This man trying to get the band back together. The Panthers defensive line and game management coach Sam Mills III is also scheduled to interview with the Redskins. And there's also a number of other Panthers assistants that could join Ron Rivera and these other guys I just listed coming all the way to the Redskins. Going ahead and just moving up north a few hours. As far as the head athletic trainer goes, with Ryan Vermillion, I'm not exactly sure how good he is. I've seen mixed reactions from Panthers fans either laughing at us for taking him or they're congratulating us and saying we got one. So I honestly don't know what to think, but as long as we don't have 20 plus players on IR every season, then that man's already a drastic improvement. Hello, let's celebrate that. But we gotta see if Trent Williams signs off on this. I'm assuming that if we hired him, Trent Williams definitely signed off on it. There's no reason after Ron Rivera has had all of this talk about bringing back Trent Williams and really wanting him to come back, that he would just go and hire a head athletic trainer that Trent Williams doesn't approve of. That would be so silly. And then as far as the offensive line coach, John Motzko goes, I'm seeing a lot of Panthers fans react in a way that the Redskins shouldn't have hired him. They're basically talking about how he's overrated and thank goodness that we took him so they don't have to deal with any more type stuff like that. Sheesh. Which sounds like it's going to be a downgrade from Bill Callahan, but really anybody else in the league was going to be a downgrade from Bill Callahan. Bill Callahan is like the premier offensive line coach in the league, so anybody else is going to be a downgrade. I just really hope this John Mosco guy isn't too bad. If he can get Eric Flowers, Brandon Sheriff, and Trent Williams to take less money than we expect, somehow, even though he doesn't have much to do with that. But if he can, then that's the biggest impact he can have. And as far as the wide receiver position coach goes, I'm seeing that people like Jim Hostler and they point to the development of DJ Moore and Curtis Samuel and the strides they've made in their game and careers. He also helped develop Devontae Adams, T.Y. Hilton, Jack Doyle, Sammy Watkins in Green Bay and in Indianapolis. So that's a good track record also. So even though I loved Ike Hilliard and what he did in one season and this Hostler guy seems to have gotten production and development out of his receivers over several years and several teams. Also, Aaron Rodgers liked them as his passing game coordinator. So I do like this move. It was just strange to see Ike Hilliard gone after what we got out of Terry McLaurin, Kelvin Harmon, and Steven Sims. Ike Hilliard played a big role in Terry McLaurin going from third round pick to top 10 wide receiver in his rookie season. Ike Hilliard was also the one beating on the table, demanding that we keep giving Steven Sims a chance. And now look at him. Not only did he vouch for him, which brought him here on the team as an undrafted free agent and kept him here, even with them trying to force Trey Quinn to start, but he also developed Steven Sims into a better route runner, better catcher. So again, just like Bill Callahan, anything other than what we had is probably gonna be somewhat of a downgrade, but as long as they're good, then I'm happy. As long as they're smart and players receive what they're trying to teach them, then I'm good. And please don't be lazy. Don't assume because Ron Rivera is your boy that it's safe out here. Now it is really interesting and weird that we just hired a wide receivers coach and offensive line coach without the offensive coordinator. Really, really weird actually. We're just gonna have to trust the process at this point because Dan Snyder and Ron Rivera have not made any bad moves so far. Some of them have been home runs. So we'll see. In my opinion, I really hope Kevin O'Connell is the offensive coordinator 
And I love the fact that they're having him interview for it and earn it and not just simply get it because he was here already and just because Dwayne Haskins vouched for him. I like the way Ron Rivera is going about it. But also, Norb Turner's son is a possibility of offensive coordinator, but like I talked about in the previous video, they might just hire him as QB coach. And if Kevin O'Connell becomes an offensive coordinator and has a really great year this year, He's gonna be getting head coaching offers as people strongly feel like he's the next Sean McVay. So he'll be getting strong coaching offers in the 2021 offseason, and then he'll dip for a better opportunity. And then Scott Turner can move up to offensive coordinator and it'll be a smooth transition for Dwayne Haskins because he'll already have a year under his belt with Dwayne Haskins as the QB coach. And they'll already have some form of a bond and chemistry and potentially moving over to a Scott Turner offense wouldn't have as many growing pains if he wasn't already the QB coach for a year. So shouts out to Ron Rivera for thinking about now and the future as far as that goes with Kevin O'Connell and Scott Turner. I love it! And again... I'm really happy that they're doing their due diligence with this and interviewing for coaches all around the league, even though it looks like they're just hiring Panthers head coaches. Trust me, it's been reported several times from trustworthy people that they're interviewing people from everywhere. But when in doubt, he's going to go with the people he trusts the most that he knows can do the job right. People that he brought to the Panthers because he knows they get the job done. Most notably, the wide receivers coach because he brought him in after he was with the Packers and the Colts. So there's a reason he's also bringing them to the Redskins. But that's it for this kinda short edition of Redskins Report. Thanks for the view. Please like the video if you loved it. Please subscribe. Again, I have endless content coming. Anything Redskins, any major news in the NFL, and any draft talk. Live streams, videos, all of that. Catch y'all later. I'm out of here.